What is going on everybody? Core here from Core Gaming and we are back with another Legion countdown video. Today is day number 126. Oh, I think that's where we're at. 126. Uh, so yeah, today we're going to talk a little bit about making gold in World of Warcraft and how easy it is right now going into the expansion, okay? Preparing for Legion. Countdown to Legion. You get the idea. So, I'm here on my Shadow Priest. Uh, my Shadow Priest is my weakest, well, one of my weaker characters, but she is a, he is someone I am right now gearing up or, or leveling up my follower collection. So right now I have 17 followers. I'm working on getting him up to 25 so that I can fully make use of his garrison, um, but there's not a whole lot in it right now. There's a couple of gold missions which are real nice, but there's not a whole lot of point to doing them because I get, I, I, I I, we can try, but what I really want is the XP on this character. Let's hop on to the next character, and I can show you how I'm making gold with their garrisons. Okay, so as you can see on this screen, there's already a little bit of a difference. We've got two uh, garrison mission tables here. We've got the fleet commander table, which is the, the naval mission table, and just the normal mission table. So, let's take a look at the naval mission table first. I don't think there's anything too big in here. This one was failed, and this one was successful, and it was just for experience. And I don't see any gold missions right now, so I'm just going to do the barricade mission. Let's check out this other table. So in this one, we've got a couple of gold missions here. So these gold missions benefit from a follower trait on these followers that I've got that uh, boosts the amount of gold I get per, per missions. Now, you might have known about this. You may not have known about this. Who knows? You also have a... Uh, uh, you'll get more gold missions if you have a level 3 in in your garrison, which all of my characters have. Now, the first thing... Well, normally the first thing I'll do on any of my characters when I'm getting their... When I'm sending their missions out is I'll do the gold missions first because I want to make sure that they benefit from uh, the the uh, the treasure hunters that I've got. So I'm going to send all of these out. All of these benefit from at least one treasure hunter. Most of them will then benefit from multiple treasure hunters if they're the big ones. Nothing too big here on the shaman. Just about 200 gold. Uh, now when we started this when we started this uh, this this video, I was sitting at about 406,000 gold. I'm still sitting right around 406,000. You know, I'm approaching 407,000. It goes and going up ever so slowly. But let's see what kind of gold missions I've got over here. This is a mission I can add two followers to. Both of these followers have the uh, the, the treasure hunter trait, so this is going to amp up from 55 gold to 165 gold. And that looks to be about it so far. So I'll just click the rest of them so they head out. And there's one more gold mission down here, but we're just going to have to wait an hour and a half to be able to send that one out. Now here's a big one inside of the naval mission table. Inside of the naval mission table, there was a little star on the map, just like this one right here. Now this one is called the neutralizer. Uh, what it what it, the what it rewards is an airship spots and attack spots and attacks hostile ships in the area, increasing the success chance of missions. Right here, it, it creates an area just like this. Now in this area, increases the gold gained from a mission by 100%. Now I'm gonna send out followers on this mission. And it's going to be a 75% chance of success, but a, a possibility of getting 3,000 gold. I could get a higher chance and, and get it just at uh, 2,250, but I'd rather risk it and try and get more gold out of it. So in 18 hours, we'll find out, you know, we've got lots of buffs, 100%, 100%, 100% gold. So it's a, it's, a, it's a 750 gold mission times, times one, times two, times three, times four. Huge. Absolutely huge.
All right, we are approaching the end. I'm on my uh, second to last character here, one of my one of my two main raiders, and uh, the gold haul has not been enormous. Although that's just from my perspective. For other people, you might be looking at this and say, oh, "How much gold have you gotten?" So so far, I've gotten about four thousand gold from this. We started out right around, I'd say, uh, four hundred and six thousand, and now we're at about four hundred ten thousand, four hundred ten point five thousand. But you know, I, I don't remember the exact number we started at. Um, but as we finish this up here, I do want to mention a little bit about what exactly I'm doing. I've got the treasure hunter followers, probably about 10 of them per character. And I send these missions out ooh, two to three times a day, uh, usually right before work and right after work. And sometimes I'll check it before I go to bed too. Now, in addition to, you know, the missions, the naval missions, well, okay, in addition to the normal missions, I'm also doing the naval missions. Um, and f judging from the naval missions and normal missions I've sent out today, uh, I reckon I've got about, well, I've got at least a chance to, by this time tomorrow, have made another ten to 15,000 gold, which is about what I estimate, according to this guild, according to this guild, according to the title of this video, that's how much gold I've actually made today. Uh, starting this morning, I started out with 396,000 gold, um, and I'm just judging from just the gold I get from missions. I haven't sold anything on the auction house, although once we get on this character, we might find that I've sold something on the auction house. So, um, we've got naval missions sent out a whole bunch of them for lots and lots of gold. I've got nothing in my bags I can sell, but I'm pretty sure I've got I've got some mounts from missions, and I've gotten the medallions of the Legion from missions, and things like that. Um, but, again, on this character, not a lot of gold coming in. Total, we're sitting at 410,000 gold. 410,600 gold when this morning I started out at about... 396,000. So, using the treasure hunters and the other things that you can really get from missions are, is a great way to spend very little time in the game, but also have a huge, huge profit to show for it. So, in the time of making this video, I also spent a little bit of time recruiting somebody, so it took me about 20 minutes to record this entire video. I know you're looking at the video and seeing that it's only about... I don't know how long it'll be in the end, but I'm hoping we'll get it around five minutes in length because I'm going to do a time lapse of those characters that did in the middle where I didn't talk at all. <laughs> and, um, you know, 20 minutes to, to do all this, 20 minutes to make almost 5,000 gold this afternoon. And this morning I made about 10,000 gold. So 15, almost 15,000 gold for the day. And for doing like nothing like i i haven't done anything and and some people find you know doing the garrison stuff very tedious and to me it's just not you know it, it's so simple it's not really you know it, it doesn't uh weigh on me at all and all i'm doing is clicking buttons and that's all this game is after all so <clears throat> All that being said, I hope you found this video useful. Again, we are counting down the days until Legion, the Legion returns to Azeroth, and until Legion is released to Azeroth. Uh -huh. So, 126 days to go. I hope you found this video useful in terms of making gold and preparing for Legion. Making gold is going to become difficult again in Legion. Right now, it is not, so make as much gold as you can coming into Legion. When 7.0 comes out, Garrison, like the garrison gold making things are going to be gone. They are removing uh, the, the treasure hunter follower trait in the 7.0 patch, in the pre-patch. And if not, they, if, they, if they don't actually really uh, take that out in the pre-patch, it will be out for sure when Legion comes out. So use it, abuse it while you can. Make tons of gold. 126 days, that's about four months at least you have. About, about four months un until the, 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 the treasure hunter thing takes away. So uh, that's uh, 90 days. Uh, 90 days would mean that y uh, math is hard. I don't want to do math. Dang it. 126 days left. Here we go. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you all next time.